Hey everybody, this is one of the harder problems that we'll be doing, so I'm going to do the example and then work another problem. Section 4.3, example number 7, page 594. The directions say, write sine of 2 cosine inverse x as an algebraic expression. So let me give you some notes over here. You don't have to write these down. You can just play it again if you forget them. All right, the cosine, when you do inverse, means you're trying to find out how big the angle is. But we don't know what x is. For example, if we know what x is, like cosine negative 1 of a half is 60 degrees, but we don't know x. But this is going to be some angle. If we knew x, we could find the angle, but we don't know x, so we'll just say it's some angle. But let's give it a name. Let's call it theta. It took me a little while to understand that. So hopefully that explanation will help you a little bit. So this can be replaced with this. It's important you know that because we're going to do substitution. We can take out this and put theta because that's some angle. And that's some angle. All right, so here's the original problem. And here's that cosine inverse of x can be replaced with theta. Leave the 2, replace only this part with theta. And this should look familiar because this is one that's used a lot. It's a double angle. And it's one of the easier ones to remember. Sine of 2x or 2 theta, whatever it is, can be replaced with 2 sine theta cosine theta. That's a theta. <laughs> now, to find our answer to our problem, which is a sine of that, we have to figure out the triangle. Well, this is cosine x. We can assume the cosine, well, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I'll write that over here. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And in this problem, it's only an x, but you assume the x is over 1. So that's x over 1. So the adjacent is x. Oops. And hypotenuse is 1. And we're missing that side. And to find it, do the Pythagorean theorem, which is going to be 1 squared minus x squared. square root, and that gives you this side. So now we know all three sides of the triangle. Well, we don't really know them, but we've got a variable form. We do know the hypotenuse is 1, and the adjacent's x, and the opposite is the square root of 1 minus x squared. So now we can finish this problem. It's 2 times the sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, times cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. You don't have to write this down. I'm just explaining it a little bit better. And that is going to be 2 times opposite over hypotenuse times cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. The ones can drop off, and let's put the x out toward, with the two. So the final answer is 2x root 1 minus x squared. All 
All right, now, if you've seen this, you might want to catch the next video, which is going to be a problem on five number, problem number 44, I believe, but some section 4.3 also.